Greetings, greetings everyone. I'm back again with another video. I'm your host, this Pose to the Mlambisa. Uka but to wash with the table, no sing on the Mlambo, no sing on suit. Joby. Yeah. Today I'm gonna focus on the split that happened in St. John. That involved a court battle. That happened in the 1970s, 1970, 1971. And subsequently, the split occurred in 1972. Where now, what we know as St. John Apostolic Faith Mission Church of South Africa had to split. And then it formed another part called St. John's Apostolic Church of Prophets, which is situated in Motol Law. So, let me go back to why actually one would ask the question why did the church split? So, let's go. 1970. Actually, after the death of Lazarus and go through a railway accident. They decided to put Uchuanis Ngu, the eldest son, as the Archbishop. And the agreement before was that Mangu was the one who was going to appoint Archbishops. But Ubabomasango at the time said no there must be an election where Archbishop gets to be elected. And then that's when they actually went to court and had those court battles which took some time. And actually, it was a back and forth, and well, Masangwe, in the end, won the case. And it was said that they must have elections in which well, Masangwe won. And it was not easy, it was a back and forth. It was a back and forth. They even, Mama Christine and Obama Masangwe had a fallout in which it resulted to the church splitting because of Basa Everton. It's a Everton, the 12 doors. So when it splits, it splits because of he had won the case and he had been elected to become the Archbishop. And also, while he was in court, Wabonis and Gubebov, which would take away a judge. And because of he was a prophet, Wabonis, you know, you have to wear Maupumala, you have to wear red now. It's a symbol of victory and others say the Saskati as a court something in the gile among us away the bumpy signed up as a more yeah they speak in again that was a more yeah and the judge couldn't comprehend the issues of spirituality so they say Bambasang had to prophesy and had to give them all of them the lawyers, the I think it was the lawyer and the police who were giving the and also the judge who was actually given a prophecy and 
he was actually given that name D.D. Doctor of Divinity Doctor of Divine so a man who was called a double engine Ubabu Doctor Petros John Masao so it was the whole entire thing the back and forth and even they were fighting there were a lot of stories that came out which they also fought for in the by a polygamy which one is the eldest son wanted the polygamy while as Baba Masango said no he doesn't want polygamy to be practiced in the church and Baba Masango believed that Johannesson who was not a good standing member so that's why he insisted on elections and also for which he eventually won but it was not easy it was a back and forth and it resulted to into a split and the fallout between here and no no mamongu so when when I, when I when I actually look at the story my thoughts around the story it's abandon versus on to the pastor's kids those who grew up as on to not most of them I cannot generalize and say all of them but most of them lento yo Yes, and so they take it lightly. And you find that there's someone an outsider who 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 can actually look after the church, do all the right things. But the thing is is the it's an outsider. Where else the children of the prophets and the prophetess they seem to not care about the affairs of the church so that's why sometimes it becomes difficult especially for someone who was with the prophet and the prophetess who was very close and then when the opportunity comes for them to become an archbishop they are not given they feel somehow betrayed and you can't blame them because you find that the person they want to elect now is a drunkard others they abuse drugs others they they just don't have the care and the passion of the of running a church so is that whole dichotomy so yeah people need to look at it that way because there were even talks especially in the camp manje let me not go now on the camp but let me finish off Kule Kempo Kamanku as they said that others were asked people such as Inok Ramokoka who's married to Tenku family and Uramokoka Uya Shoguti according to Yena it was a matter of power people were hungry for power that's why the church split splitted in 1972 because Inok Ramokoka now is the Archbishop of St. John's Church of St. John's Apostolic Church of Prophecy which is in Makullo 
so he said is the results of people starting to have to desire to have more power getting more and more ambitious and having the hunger for power so others they also claim that the church especially the Nku family and Abu I think it's Mate the Mate family they also say no this thing is supposed to run through a family so I don't know what are your thoughts especially let's say for an example I start a church and then is it supposed to be a legacy if family are or even some families might come in and who who can do the job when you look at them they do an amazing work and faces my family which is incompetent do we elect on merit or do we elect based on blood is it a legacy thing or what so moving on the camp yagaba yagaba bomasango those who defend baba masang will be like no umangur she did prophesy that there's gonna come a man from the east into the kulumayo kanda kanda double engine who's gonna take this church now elevate it and take it to another level and make it grow bigger than it is and then they also a prophet calls called used to be called they used to call the prophet Walter Walter Mateta Naya he prophesied about Babu Masango that they're gonna come a, a man that man will be so powerful so powerful to the extent that he'll do miracles and a lot of people will believe in him and a lot of people the way he will be strong they will start thinking maybe this church was founded by him because of the impact and and the many people he could touch because Baba Masango, they say there was a service in which he told Ibanda that Hambani is something Pome Masinya Gunanya Vulen Kulezayo. So people left and then it came in Vulaleo. So Muntubegabona La Pambili, who who now Ituna la Kelise Hey Jimmy Stan, those who don't know Ituna la Kabo Masango, I urge them, especially Ma St. John, or even if you're not St. John, to visit Ikatle Hong, a Jimmy Stan, a Rama, the headquarter, to see Ituna la Kabo Masango. It's there. Mongena, just Mongena, Ngogeti, turn right. Then you will see just a dozen or something. Welcome, that's all cool. So yeah, that whole entire split. It's but it gave but it gave birth to a lot of people. The church went to Swaziland, Namibia. It reached people in Botswana. Follow almost a lot of parts of Africa, the church is there. So, yeah, sometimes 
isn't as a gankulu they is a gankulu gankulu they happen the way gankulu gankulu a a funa ngakona. Tina people we may plan. Yeah, I want this one. I want this one. But gankulu gankulu yeah, as you can see the future. I can see way further than us. Tina is one alive to us, but God knows and has plans for our lives. That's why the book of Philippians chapter 4 states that I can do all things through Christ. Through. Now, you must underline the word through Christ who strengthens me. So, it's high time that people start believing that You can never do things alone, but you need Christ, you need God. And Kulungulu wonong, Miss Evans, Miss Evans about prophet, Sakulmangabo, those people. It's over a hundred years now since Bezel, since they started this journey. And one asks a question, which is, is this generation gonna go the mileage? Are we gonna have Boma Christina, the next Boma Christina, the next Boma Boma Sal? Because now there's this culture of fake and false prophets who deceive people and who are chasing after money. So, South Africa is a very polarized country because. The apartheid government really sabotaged us and they divided us. Divide, they used the divide and conquer method because there's always going to be that tension and war between us. First, the tribalism. Now, if you look at it this way, Mam kum tsuana, then Baba Masang falls under Manguni, Bazutu, Abazulu, Maswati, Mandebel, Maklosa. So, in that way, it divides now, good to know. Abanyabatino, Sabaga Baba Masang, Abanyabatino. Svagama Christina and Ma Christina Kese Baba Masang. So, Pantu Laba, they are one. Not we need to unite, we need to be one and stop this fighting. Which I know, Dengoni is superior, Ia Mazula superior, Matosa superior, or Maswati, a Mandevela superior. That he a matonga mavenda. This church is it's I love the church because of my interpreter and you can learn languages. Nayo Bakulumi language wa na baban So Nati people we need to realize that we are one whether Spiritual Father Sako, you come under Baba Masang or you come under Mama Christina, but must know that we are one, essentially one. And if essentially a shangan, ya by one, wong, Mama Sanchon, all those 39 splinter groups that can merge and become one thing, I think the numbers will actually, angatlula we say sisi, the way about Baba Nengako. Sasa nabantu base mispa Cape Town. Sese naba prophet who made impact like abo babo matuso. Abo mama babo kwane. I'm still gonna do a video on abo babo shabalala, abo meelisa. Their relationship na abo babo masango. Meelisa no meana. Babo masango no mamu. No babu shabalala. 
headquarters as my milord in Ayo. Injani manji house the state of the headquarter. The people who were there, Abu Babu, the Abu Babu, the late Stati, Abu Babu Chipapi, Messalina, you name them. So, St. John is in Kulu. And the history needs to be told. So, I'm in this journey of telling this history, going places, asking, gathering information, reading articles, reading documents, re researching, and yeah. I'd like to hear your thoughts about the split, essential. But a lot of lives have been changed, so we need to move on. But sometimes things happen. And for the bad and for the good. Sometimes two bulls don't stay in one corral. And people need to grow and need to branch out to impact and touch people's lives. So, yeah. Hope to see you again on another video. May the good God. Yeah. Tana nonke makaya. Peace. Tapi. Oh.